Girl K, and today we're doing a video on painting a love, but instead of an O, it has a 49ers helmet. Uh, we have paint and a wood piece and paintbrushes and an image to help us. And I hope you all enjoy the video. Now to get started, we grabbed a piece of wood, some white acrylic paint. Now, I have OCD, so <laughs> I'm sorry for me picking at it, but I just want it to be perfect. Oh, and then we're going to paint in the image. Peek at the messy hand. Anyway. <laughs> Aren't the nails gorgeous, everyone? We see that little black paint on the thumb. That's all good. I think I'd be a good YouTuber. <laughs> you could just cut me out. <laughs> Shout out to River for doing a wonderful job bringing us into today's video. I greatly appreciate uh, my daughter putting together, thinking that she knows my mannerisms and narrating. I definitely got a kick out of the experience. Today you may hear a little bit differences in the quality. With each video that I record and put together, I like to think that I get better and better with learning this process of YouTube. So if you like the sound, you think that we're heading in the right direction, please leave a comment below. And if you have any ideas for future San Francisco 49ers inspired paintings, please also leave a comment below as well. Now with today's theme, it's talking about the love. The love that we have as fans uh, for this team, being able to participate in takeovers, meeting each other and like-minded individuals. This season, took us on a roller coaster of emotions with going through several quarterbacks. We started out the season thinking that Trey was going to be our rebuilding year. Unfortunately, Trey got injured and Jimmy came back into the fold and suffered, you know, his injury of having a broken foot and Purdy surprised us with coming in blazing. The rookie who had a chip on his shoulder with something to prove. Going on his seven straight winning game with the NFC championship game past week. Uh, it took me a couple of days to process. I know a couple of the people that I follow jumped on social media immediately. Uh, I had to still process the game. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely took a depression nap afterward before I watched the highlights later on and then I wanted to hear what the report was going to be because I know with watching the game and seeing how Purdy came in in the second half and that he, he couldn't throw the ball. I myself who suffered a ligament injury. I tore my ACL when I was younger. Yes, that's the knee, but the knee is kind of does a similar thing as the elbow for the arm, right? Well, it's one of the things that I said, I was like, man, I hope he didn't tear a ligament. And then to find out in the news that he has to have the Tommy John's surgery, which is roughly an eight to 10 week recovery process. Definitely sending Purdy all the love and vibes for a successful surgery and speedy recovery and speedy healing. He definitely put his heart out on the field and he shows that he is made of some tough cojones, <laughs> I guess you could say for him to come back onto that field after he knew that he was injured, but just the love that he has for his team and love that he has for this game. Just try and do something and try and make something happen. I appreciate the franchise for everything that they tried to accomplish this season, as well as appreciate all the chapters put on takeovers. I was blessed to attend a couple of takeovers this season. I went to Charlotte and I also went to Atlanta. Both takeovers were amazing. Definitely met some new people. I have built lifelong lasting relationships with and definitely looking to our future adventures in the next season to come. I know they just released our schedule for our opponents on who will play home and who will play away. We'll just have to wait here on this year for the actual date so that we can start planning our calendars. To continue with the theme of love, I have much love and respect for D'Amico who received his promotion being his next adventure as a head coach. Just really interesting to see what's going to happen with our players who will stay, who will move on. It's kind of a bittersweet because you're happy for them because they're getting paid as they deserve.
serve, but you also miss their contributions on the team. And of course, the rumor mill's in full swing. I really do appreciate all the love and support that I've already gotten since launching my channel on my other social medias, on my TikTok, and on my Instagram. The link will be below in my bio for my link tree for all my social medias. I really, really do appreciate everyone who has supported my channel and look forward to continued support. So please, if you can take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel, it continues to support what it is that I love to do, and that's talk about football and to do art. I do plan on switching things up in the future from doing paintings to doing other media. I have some ideas for some customized 49er shoes that is coming up in my future of gathering all the materials for that, putting together some bags, placemats. I've ordered all my materials and they've come in, so I'm going to record an unboxing video. Just really exciting things planned for you in the off season, so please do hit that bell so this way anytime that I post a video, you'll be the first to know. Thanks for joining 49ers in Bay Workshop Wednesday.